Hey, this is Paul Soltz from Super Easy Apps. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to connect our user interface to Swift for code. And let's jump right in to Xcode. I've got Xcode open, I've got the app open. Right now, the app is not interactive. I can't do anything except make the keyboard appear and I can't edit values because the keyboard is covering up things. So we're gonna to have to fix a couple of things to make this actually usable, but we can start by connecting our interface to code. We're gonna to go to our main.storyboard file, just click on this once, and then you're gonna click on the Venn diagram icon in the top right corner, that's the assistant editor. This is gonna show us the related code file. Now, it's important that when we have this open with the main.storyboard as our left code file or our left file, that we have this in the top breadcrumb. So if you look along the top here, we've got breadcrumbs. Switch this, if it's on manual, to automatic, and it should load your view controller code file. Now, if this is not happening, double check to make sure that you're opening a storyboard file and it should load the, the reference file. And if you've got multiple screens in your app, you're gonna select just one. All right, so we only have a single screen. We're gonna be able to see both of these. And in order to get some more space, I'm gonna hide our left and right panels. You can do the same on your computer and I can hide the bottom panel. What we wanna do is we wanna zoom back in and sort of recenter this so that we can see everything that's important. There are a few elements that we wanna interact with from the code. We want to modify our tip amounts programmatically. We want to get the user input from this label right here, and we want to respond to user interaction. So we're gonna set up each of those individually. There are two types of things that we're gonna be inserting. We're gonna be inserting IB outlets, and then we're going to insert IB actions. So let's start with the labels. What you do is you right click and drag over into this sidebar, and we're going to set up an outlet for this label. This is gonna be our 10% tip label. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a very verbose name so they know exactly what it is. And I'm gonna start with a word. So once we have that set up, make sure that it says UI label, you're gonna click connect. This is creating a code connection and you can hover over it to see that it is connected. Another thing you can do is you can right click on this and see that there's a referencing outlet. So that is our first connection. We're gonna be making a bunch more. I'm gonna be putting them right up top above our view did load. Let's do the 15% and try to get the spelling right. What's really important is that if you do make a spelling mistake, that you keep using that spelling mistake or you correct it early. All right, so we got 15% and then we'll add one more. So we've got 20% tip label. We hit connect. So we've got three outlets. These are names, these three names are values that we can use in our code to modify what is displayed here. The next thing that we wanna do is we want the text field. So this is a UI text field. We're gonna right click on that and drag that on over. And we will just call this our bill text field. Out of convention, what we use is called camel case. So as I'm typing, I do a lowercase first letter, and then I do an uppercase T and an uppercase F because these are two words. And that is how it is formatted for the type. So I'm just sort of matching that so I know exactly what these are. These were three labels. This is going to be a text field, which is a slightly different user interface component, even though it looks very similar right now because of the way that we've styled it. This one is for user input. These are for displaying values back to the user and they are not interactive. All right, the last thing that we need to add is an action from our button. Now this one you have to be a little bit careful about. You're gonna right click and drag, and we're gonna put this, I'm actually gonna put this one below the view did load. I like to have my actions below and we're gonna, click on the drop down, you're gonna select action. Once you do that, we can give it a name. And so for actions, we like to use verbs. So we are gonna call this the calculate tip button. And then we're gonna use a verb was pressed. So we'll just say pressed. So that's our action. And we can just connect it with the default settings. Now just make sure that when you do make that connection that you are doing an action, not an outlet. An outlet is like a name that we can refer to something. It's like, my name is Paul, so you can call me Paul. 
But when you want me to do something, like if you want me to cook dinner and that's something that I can do, that's what we call an action. And so in this case, when you tap that button, you want something to happen. So if you want me to cook dinner, you push that button and I cook you dinner. Something like that is how this is gonna work, except we're making a tip calculator app. We're not making a dinner app. So what this is gonna do is it's going to pronounce some numbers for us so that we don't have to do complex math in our head after we've had some food or drinks and we can't do normal functioning things at the end of a meal. So that's the whole purpose of this app. We want an app that is easy to use, that can give us the numbers that we want without having us to do complex multiplication in our head. All right, so let's test this button works. And what we do is we can just print a message like we did before, and we'll call it calculate tip. All right, so if we stop our app and rerun it, we should see this working. So I started it up and we have the, the app over on the left. And if we click on this button, we should see calculate tip appears down below in our console window. Now, if you don't see this, what you need to do is click on this little icon at the very bottom right. It might be inset a little bit, but it should be looking like that. And you should see this message. We can hide our variable view, which is the left side panel. And we can see all of the messages that are appearing. So we see hi, Paul and calculate tip. And we do this again, we can keep seeing additional tips being printed to the screen. So that's how we can get started with connecting our user interface to code. We now have references to these variables in our code so that we can control what's on the screen. So one of the other things that we could do real quick is we could say the bill text field dot text is equal to, let's just say free. Okay, so let's go ahead run the app, and we will see that we're able to use a reference to one of these variables to change the value of this. So when I click this, we now have a free bill. In the next video, we're gonna get started with our label and working with the keyboard. Right now, the keyboard gets in the way, so we need to figure out how to fix that. I'm gonna show you how to get started with fixing the keyboard so it goes away when we press return, because right now we can't even type numbers and get it to disappear. And then the other thing is we can't see a lot of our user interface because a keyboard is covering it up. So we're gonna learn how to fix that in an upcoming video. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below, you can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. It's gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.